Week 12 picks. Excited. We've got three games. Thanksgiving Day starts out. Bills and Lions. And it's been Jamal Williams for the Lions since DeAndre Swift had an early season injury. And the Bills go back to their quote-unquote home stadium because Ford Field is where they played a week ago when they couldn't host the Cleveland Browns in Buffalo because there was like eight feet of snow on the ground. And I'm not even exaggerating here. So they go back to Buffalo for a few days, and now they're going back to Detroit. Bill's nine-and-a-half-point favorite, Lions hosting on Thanksgiving. Who you got in this matchup? And we've lost Ike yet again. Apologies for the connection issues. Nine-and-a-half points. I will go with the Bills. I like the Bills, and running the ball is going to be key for them late in the season. Ike, it's a a nine-and-a-half-point spread. I'll take the Bills on Thanksgiving, but – and. Apologies, we look to have him. I'll give the Bills, we'll keep this thing rolling. Giants and Cowboys, this line was at nine. It is now at 10. Reason being, Giants are decimated by injuries. Adoree Jackson is out. Fabian Moreau is out at the cornerback position. Going to be tough to stop C.D. Lamb. And then you've got major injuries along the Giants' offensive line and offensive line that helped Saquon Barkley get going on the ground. So Joe Feliciano is out. Evan Neal is out. Joshua Zudu is out. Shane Lemo is out. So you've got a lot, or Lemieux is out. Apologies. You've got a lot of players out for the Giants. Cowboys, that line has now moved to 10 points. It was at nine points. I will take the Cowboys to cover at home on Thanksgiving, considering all of the injuries to the Giants. I, I ripped through really quickly. Um, Bills, I'm going to take the Bills as the nine and a half point favorite. The Cowboys as the nine point favorite. And then Patriots at Vikings. The Vikings, a three point favorite. However, the Vikings, like the Giants, dealing with a lot of injuries. Key injury here left tackle Christian Darasaw not playing for the Vikings. So, considering that Darasaw is going to be out with a concussion, he hasn't practiced this week. You're also without Andrew Booth, the cornerback. They're out without a, a starting cornerback, two starting cornerbacks. Delvin Tomlinson is well for the Vikings. Not They're not going to play. Uh, excuse me. Those three players aren't going to play. Tomlinson is questionable. I will take the Patriots to cover on the road against the Vikings on Thanksgiving. So those are my three Thanksgiving Day picks. Get you through a few other games. Sunday, Bengals at Titans. I like the way that the Titans and Bengals are playing this time of the season. This game's kind of a coin flip, but I'm going to take the Titans at home. It's really going to depend on how effective Derrick Henry can be. And then is Joe Mixon going to play? Are you going to get him back from injury? That's going to be a key for the Bengals there. I'll take the Titans at home. Bucks at Browns. Bucks, three and a half point favorite against the Browns on the road. This will be the last game the Browns are without Deshaun Watson. And in seven games, Seven games left in the season. The Bucs are a heavy, heavy favorite to win the NFC South division. So that th- that being said, uh, I will take the Bucs on the road against the Browns. Browns have been really, really struggling at three and seven this season. Really, really struggling this season. Ravens at Jags. Ravens four-point favorite. There's a reason the Ravens are still the favorites to win the AFC North. They lead the Bengals by one game in the AFC North division. I'll take the Ravens against the Jags bears at jets is a total coin flip to me because not sure if Justin Fields is going to play with the shoulder injury. Not sure. Uh, so not sure if he'll play. And then Mike white is going to start in favor of Zach Wilson, the jets benching Zach Wilson. We find that out today. If Justin Fields plays, I think the bears have a shot on the road, but without Justin Fields, I don't see any way that Chicago wins. Jets need a win to remain competitive in the AFC East. I'll take the Jets at home there. And Sunday night, Packers and Eagles. Eagles, seven-point favorite. And what's going on with the Eagles the last few weeks? You might think, oh, well, they've slipped up. They aren't the same team that we've seen. It's been the turnovers. They were number one in turnovers in weeks one through nine in turnover differential with 18 turnovers forced while just committing three turnovers, turnovers of their own. They've turned the ball over six times in the last two games, and they've ranked 31st in the league in the last two games in turnover differential at minus three. The Eagles hang on to the ball. I think they cover and win against the uh, the Packers on Sunday night at home at the link in 
Philly. So all those things said, I would take the Eagles at home. They've just got to protect the football. That's going to be the key for them.